Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I'm here today to talk about composition, uh, some tips for junk journalers, and I have a, another tag template today. So I'm calling this one um, Focal Point. It's number seven in the playlist. Um, and it's just, a, you know, kind of a, a simple template, but it's, um, it focuses on the, the focal point of a design. And, and that is my first tip when talking about composition. So composition in any art, it's the way that an artist arranges the elements and images and ideas and all of the, the elements that an artist uses in, in a work of art. It's the arrangement that they, they use. That's what is called the composition of the piece. So there are so many different things, um, elements of art and principles of art that artists kind of use as they're putting this composition together. Like I've talked to you a little bit about line and shapes, there's color, there's um, mood, there's repetition, there's these things, they're divided up into to what artists call principles of art and what artists call elements of art. And those, those things work together to create um, the piece of art. And the way those are arranged is called the composition. So I'm not an art teacher. I have to tell you that. And I also want to emphasize that there are no rules for art. There really is not. There just are only these different ideas that that kind people kind of use. And and there there are these things that an art teacher, you know, would go over if you were to take a class um, in art. Fundamentals, you know, different things that they that they teach and talk about. I've not ever been trained as an art teacher, so I I can't give you the the hard and fast of all of these things. It, you'll have to maybe go online and sign up for a class or um, but I can give you you know, I can share with you what I know. And so these are the things that I know that I kind of work with. And I've tried to kind of think of them in terms of junk journaling. Um, because junk journaling is a little different, you know, than painting. Composition is, is most talked about um, as a, a, a tool for um, artists who paint um, or draw. And it's a little harder to apply composition, I I think, to something like uh, photography. But it's even harder, I think, to apply it to something like sculpture or, you know, mixed media stuff. But still and all, there are some basic principles that we can all use. And it will help make our designs better, I think. I learned most of what I know from my mother. She was an artist. Um, and she, she would talk to me about different things. And, and so I have four kind of tips that I'm going to share, not all of them today in this video, because it would, it would take too long. And it, part of the reason why I haven't done it yet is because I, you know, I, I couldn't figure out, it would just take too long to try to explain each thing. I can do it easier if I just think of it as a tip. So today we're going to talk about focal point. So I'm going to circle that and, and then we'll know next time what things we've covered, okay? So focal point, think about a focal point. That's my number one tip. The place where you want your eye to go first. This can be an image, but it doesn't have to be an image. It can be a splash of color, it can be a word or a block of text or a swirl even, you know, just a mark. 
not every design needs a focal point. And so that's why I'm saying that this is not a rule. You don't have to have a focal point. But if, if you're trying to do something pleasing, it often helps to have somewhere for the viewer's eye to land first. So that's that's what we're gonna do today with this tag template. We're gonna I'm gonna show you several of these tags. They each one of them have a focal point. So this is this is the the template. Um, it's, you've got the shape, the tag shape. You've got a horizontal line, and you've got a curved line intersecting that that line. That's all this template is. So it's a very easy, easy thing to think about, but it ends up being very pleasing, I think. And so you can use this pattern, you know, to do something yourself. So here's, here's the first example. You can see that that, that matches pretty well. We've got some contrast going over here and that creates a, a horizontal line. I've also put some washi tape down that also creates a horizontal line. And then this is the focal point. So when you, when you look at this design, the first thing you see is that little wooden shape. And so that's the focal point. These other things that I've done um, are in the background to that. Okay, here, here's an, another Another example, so I've used a book page, just some distress on that background. I've done some stenciling, but I've created the horizontal line, and then here is the shape, the curved lines in the shape, Then I've put another horizontal line on top with that little bit of text. Here's another example. This time I haven't used, uh, this is a little bit uh, less noticeable, but here's a strip of lace the these other horizontal lines all over the background, but here's the focal point. Here's a little bit of an embellishment on top. Here's this one. This is down at the bottom this time. It doesn't, you know, you can change the pattern a little bit, the, but here's the focal point. All right, now this one is a little more complicated because our eyes are often drawn first to faces. But when you use, like I said, the focal point can be a color. It can be um, a word or something, whatever is draws your attention immediately. This red color is the focal point, I think, in this, in this tag. You've got the little flower, but the first thing you notice is red. Yeah, that's what I think anyway. And you know, we can disagree about things, right? You can have your own opinions. Yep. All right, here's another um, same. It's the same concept here as the template, just a different little element. It's pocket, but there's the focal point right there. Okay, this one is also a little different, a little more complicated, but um, you've got a large, you know, focal point here. This is a smaller focal point, um, but it's, it's a repetition of this one. So the focal point in this card is this large red flower. There's a contrast, you know, in the color, and, um, and here's the horizontal line. So, so that's that's still following the pattern, but it's, you know, I got a little bit creative and that's great. Okay. All right. So here's the project. We're just going to do, um, the same thing, going to follow the template. So I have just the card background. This is just going to be a journaling card. You can write on the back. I've put a strip of washi tape. And now I'm just going to put these three little pieces of paper together in a little collage grouping. And that's going to be our focal point. So I'm just going to put that up here. And you know, I don't know why I tend to kind of, 
I just default sort of toward the right of center. You can also default toward the left of center. I don't know if it's because I'm right-handed. I've never thought about it, but I do tend to default toward the right. This is just a little strip off something. And we're going to put that there. And then we're just going to use this little postage stamp. And that's going to come down like that. Okay. Now, I haven't made this a tag shape yet. And I don't know whether I will or not. I could cut that off and make it a tag. I could round it and make it a journal card. I could put a topper on it. Um, I don't know really what I'm gonna do. I think I think that I will just round the, the top corners for now because that will keep it just kind of <laughs> ready. But if I decide later, I can change it. Okay, there it is. That's pretty simple. Focal point. Yep, all right. So next time, I will explain the rule of thirds. It might not be in a video immediately after this, or you can say, if you want me to do do it immediately, then, then I will. Um, but... I have lots of things going on and so I may end up filming something else in the meantime but but we will definitely cover these other tips the rule of thirds implied triangles and the rule of odds so that's what's coming up thanks so much for your time I always appreciate you spending some with me